1931 or two. You know what a depression is? People don't get food like this. They were starving. Mm -hmm. If they saw this food in the streets in those days, they run in the restaurant, grab the food away from you, and then run out. They had guns in here to shoot invaders of restaurants to steal food. You're doing the depression. There's no re-records on this. They have no records on what really happened during the Great Depression. Bullshit, it's all bullshit. People ran off the street, went into the restaurant, and stole the food right from your plate, and then ran out. Everybody's hustling is a hustler. So watch out for him. He'll rob me. I'm too old. He's a professional beggar. I can't compete with them. I'm too old. So, you take a chance when the doctor says, I'm going to give you electrical shock treatment to your frontal lobes. Sometimes your third lobe. These are called the frontal lobes. Now, Albert would tell me this in plain language during the night when I was half asleep. 297 theories is implanted in my brain. He put in my head in simple language, very important to remember that. He gave a lot of false theories to the academic world so they should play with that and not get the real thing. He says it'll come out of you only when it's necessary and with the right people to be recorded like you're doing now. Nobody believes me. So what you're getting is the man that lived and slept with Albert Einstein in the Washington Muse near Washington Square Park. Albert said, there will come a time when you must talk and tell the truth about the theories. Albert took me home. Three times he woke me up. And three times I chased him away. But when he mentioned scrambled eggs with real butter, with a large glass of real milk in those days, fresh milk. He said, food is very important. You've got to eat good food. Albert, I must have had a tongue-tied fit while I was sleeping on the bench. And that's why he took an interest in me, because he saw a glow. Even though I was bleeding, he saw a glow. I ran away from an institution for retarded children. But he saw that, me biting my, my tongue. Eh, see the bites? This is what I gotta wear. I have no teeth from the electrical shock treatment. The doctor says, you're crazy, Izzy. You ain't got bed bugs, it's all in your head. The bed bugs are in your head. They don't make good beds anymore. The whole government gives you lousy beds. Rotten beds, they give me rotten beds. With bugs in it, in the mattress. And on the sheets, throw that out too. The blankets and all. Most of the sprays sold in the stores do not get rid of bed bugs. You can spray all you want. It doesn't get rid of bed bugs. You know, old people have to go to the bathroom three or four times a night to urinate. You know, when you go to a hospital, you know what a urinal bottle is? Put it in the elevators, because our elevators get stuck. So they can pull down from the ceiling a urinal bottle. When the elevator's stuck, old people urinate on each other, on their feet. And one guy, we were stuck in the elevator for a whole hour. I was screaming my head off. You know what it is to be stuck in, a, in an elevator with, with 10, or maybe 12 men and women for a whole hour? We're all urinating on each other. We're old. She says, I ain't doing it. You're doing it. They're screaming at each other. You're doing it. I says, it's coming on my sneakers. It's coming out of you. She says, I'll bash you in the head when we get out of here. Could you imagine packed with fat old people urinating on each other? Architects have to understand that half of America will be over the age of 60 in 10 years from now. We're all getting old. They need urinals to pull it down in the elevators because they're going to be living in old buildings. Uh, you want money? Ah, uh, you know. You want some money? I can smell it. One, two, three, four. Throw one in. That's all you need? One. What? One. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Make it gentle. Now you're learning bell music. And don't tell mama for 24 hours. Don't tell mama. That's right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Don't tell mama. 
Ring the bell. Oh, good luck. You'll see me on the computer. Oh, it's dead. Oh. In any language, ring the bell. Let Mama do it. Free, free, free. Make a wish. All right, dear. All right. Well, I guess they don't want to be on television. You know Broadway area. Was laying on that terrible bed with the bed bugs, and I was very depressed. While they were biting me, I was wishing I was dead. Yes, so I can Bed bugs. That. I don't know why I woke up this morning. How the hell am I going to pay $150 to spend a half hour talking to a psychiatrist? I can't afford it. So I talk to you. A poor man can't afford $150, so he talks to a mirror. He gets the same therapy, maybe better. But if the manager comes out of the store, that's another problem. Then you have to move on. And they don't want you talking to their mirror. You understand my problem. You're the only one I can relate to. I can talk to you, <coughs> usually late at night. Now, I know I have verbal diarrhea, but you're giving me therapy. Poor people need better mirrors to get therapy. Have a nice day. People are very intelligent people, and they're not just Americans, they're from all over the world. They want to keep the people down. If I become famous, then they will say, whatever he's saying, he has a following, he has millions of people believing in him, he's dangerous to our capitalist system. We need a new style of living. I will become very important to this future. Sometimes I'm quiet. Usually when I'm alone, I'm very quiet. And I masturbate. I don't have sex with nobody. I've been jerking off all my life. I think I told you that. I was made to be a professional masturbator. Da -da, da -da! Now this is the one we just saw. Now, what is that? That's the Kingdom of Poet Oh, we there just it saw. is. Oh, we... Uh, what's that? That's cheerleader nurses. Extreme oh, sex that's number two. That's a, that's a real sexy guy. Uh, what is that? That looks like oh, somebody's on a leash there. Yeah. You know, in this world, if you're going to be a poet, you have to get all this data. Uh -huh. When I talk to God, I didn't have no fits. Bring it anyhow, I know you help me when you can. So ring the bell, the dew rises. Now command you, sweet folk, on the unstable water and sky. All that was just a moment ago, now let it be a blur. Into all fascinating, oh, fascinating thoughts, thoughts of, delight. of delight. One senses the thrill of the unstable equilibrium. Dreamland is within your reach. Beautiful children of the God are dancing, dancing to your delight. Food and drink and Heineken dark beer is somewhere within sight. Right, ring the bell on the house. On the house. Ring the bell. Listen to the ring and then make it? Yes, listen to the echo. And don't tell Mama for 24 hours. You can tell Papa, but not Mama. John Lennon is the man that put in a $100 bill in my basket. I says, ring the bell and make a wish. He says, I can't ring your bell, poet O. I can't ring your bell. I says, why not? Make a wish. He says, the bell ringer's union would throw me out of America. I'm a guitar player. <laughs> One of the theories, which I can't give you all the details, but it's in my brain. The Chinese are interested in my theories. The Chinese government has been here. They've been in my room. Gay Chinese, very smart people, the gay Chinese. I says, if you harm me in any way, drugs, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or ship me off to China, which I says, I don't mind. I'd love to go to China. I've never been any place. Everybody talks about taking you here and there, but they don't do it. They don't do it. I've been trapped in the United States Where would because you like I to need go? a lot of ooh-la-la. My mother had me on a field in Central Park. And then the rabbis, more concerned about me being circumcised than giving me milk. 
This is a beautiful country, beautiful, everyone is fed, everything is beautiful. But underneath, you know, the tunnels of Paris, that's what's going on in this country. This other stuff is very, very nice. It's beautiful. They gave me videos. Mm. They gave me some money. Mm. I don't deny that. Mm. Not a lot, but they gave me money. Mm. They took me to dinner. Mm. They were very nice. But they didn't get what I'm talking about now. And I want revenge from this government for what it's done to me and my mother. They put my mother on the violent war because she took a rock. She comes from Austria and she got old fashioned ideas. When she was in the mental institution, she took a rock and threw it at the first television ever put into a mental institution. She threw the rock and she said, that's the devil. And she broke the TV. Since then, in all mental institutions across the country, they put bars. So you have to see the television through the bars. The reason for that, because mama took a rock and threw it at the television and called it Satan, the devil. Mama and me is genuine mental cases. They put her on the violent war for breaking the first television, put her in a mental institution. And I want you to get that on film. My mother, who I never lived with, but I love her, she couldn't function after daddy went off to Phoenix, Arizona and wound up with 40 tailor shops. Schneider shops, they call in Australian language. Now, what was I talking about? Thy reward shall be greater than a thousand dreams of happiness that disappeared when sleep has ebbed. One dollar helps Poeto survive. Put it in the plate. <laughs> make a wish in any language. Their price for seniors with IDs. <laughs>